morning. Happy birthday. Today, our training will be on um, our Kelly mini side bag. Now, I'm going to list out the materials we need for the Kelly bag. We need a strong touch. The carry board, the strong one. Now, I notice some people have, um, are using um, small machine. So, if you're using small machine to sew this Kelly bag, I would advise you to use either soft carry, um, carry board or fiber. But we'll be using thick one for today. You need your leather. The leather, any bond, but make sure it is soft leather because you are wrapping a board, with it. so don't buy either two piece or thick leather. Buy the softest one, your carry board will bring them out. You need the ring for the long angle. You need um, clamps, your magnet clamp. You either use this one or you can use um, lock. But when you check the bag, you see that no lock is visible, so you use clamp. For the handle, the round handle on top, you use. I'll be having eyelets with it. This is optional. This eyelet is optional. You can, if you like, you can just put it, put your um, your round handle inside the hole like that. But I, I like it with eyelets. This is my chain. You can use normal chain or long strap. You need your barrel. You need um, your hammer, your punching board, your board. You need your ruler, the short and long one. Then you need velvet as your lining. I use velvet as my lining. But if you can't get velvet, use normal lining. Then for the top handle, the round top handle, you need a hose. If you're not saying in Lagos, you might not get this. So you can use holes, the ones um plumber do use. That white hose, you can use it to, to bring it out. But I use pipe, you can call this pipe or hose. Depends on what they call it where you get the market, where, where you get your leather. So I will need them um, fiber. This you can use fiber or plain sheets. A plain sheet is like a white sheet, just like um um What's it called? Like a um, board that school, school, um, school people used to use. Carry them, um, I don't know what they call it. Cardboard, yes, cardboard. Can I use cardboard? This is this servers are facing. When I'm sewing, you, you see what this one is used for. You can use this or your carry board, soft one, or cardboard, the one children in school use. So for me, I'll be using soft fiber as the facing for the bag. This is this, I will apply this where the flap of our bag is. So now that is all. And next step. So, I said on your carry board, you are cutting 20 by 8. That's the measurement for your Kelly bag. So now, this is my own outcome. Actually, this is a, 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 a mini bag. You can decide to add your own inches to this bag after making your own if you see that it's too small you can add to it but for me this is my measurement 20 by 8 this is the carry board this is the outcome of it of 20 by 8 now if you check your picture you will see that the flap is being curved and from your picture is not really a straight cutting so i'll do a little demonstration here on how to do that your front when i say your front this is the front of your bag this is the bottom this is the flap then the top where your handle will be then the flap I'll repeat, this is the front of your bag, the bottom, the back, then here will be the top of your bag, the flap. Everything here is cut here, we are not cutting out separately. From the picture, everything is cut all together. But on your board, after cutting your 20 by 8, you make some measurements you make some measurement on your on your carry board so that when you are fixing everything you know where and what to do to it so now my my front is um six i'll mark out six Auntie, 
Sorry, I want to go. Hello, Auntie. This is the front that I do have now. This is it here. So now, your front, your bottom. Our bottom is just three. I told you it's a mini side bag. If you are doing a bigger one, it should be like four, um, four and a half or five. But since it's a mini bag, we, use, we do three for the bottom. Yeah, so this is this. This side now is this. The bottom is this. Now I'm going, I'm cutting this, which is the back. The same sis. So now, of course, we get, um, we measure the top where your handle, the short handle will be, which is one and a half. You can make your own too. Depends on what you want. I'm doing one and a half. So the remaining of this is the flap, which is three and a half. So now, three and a half, one and a half, six, three, six. This is the back, the bottom, sorry, the front, bottom, back, um, the top, and the flap. When I cut it out now, because if you if you um, if you are if you attend a uh, a uh, class for the wallet, you know the way I cut. I use razor blade to cut here the line so that it will it will fold. So I'm going to do that here too. If I'm using fiber for everything now, no need because fiber fold by itself. But this carry board, you have to use all your energy to fold it. So in order not to do that, you just do some, you just do a little cutting, not to the back, little cutting on your lines so that it will bring out the folds. But before then, I told you, our bag is not, when you, get, when you check the picture, you see that this place is not straight like that. There's a little slant. So I'm going to cut out the little slant. So from here, the, the, the slants will occur on the back and the front. So now, I'll just, from the top, you measure half. From here too, you measure half. Then you taper from that place down. You taper to zero. You can see from your half. When you measure half here, you taper down. Same thing apply here. The same thing here. Then you cut it out. Do that here too. The same here. You remove that same half here too. Please don't draw all together. Don't say because this place is half. Um, let me quickly put it here and draw it down. It will give you another shape. You have to do it separately. 
That is that, so from here to you move your half. Cut out. Same here. Same here. But you won't stop. You stop here. Because you are still going to place the front on it to check if you are good to cut. So now, I will cut, you can see, I didn't cut, I did not cut this half out, because they are, you are still going to have them to do something to hit. But before then, you have to cut out this, but not to the other side, just make a little slash on it, so that you can fold very well. But if you are using fiber, no need to do this. Is a little cut don't let it cut it to the other part so now you have this hmm? this is the bag here now from here you can see here you draw it out Same thing goes to this side. So you cut out. But when you check our bag, the Kelly bag, you see that there's a little cuff. You can, if you decide to leave it like this, no problem. There are bags that have this kind of shape too. So, but let's cuff it out here. You cuff it here. You can, you can decide to do envelope. Depends on the styles. You can decide to slant it like this. So, it depends. You can do this. You can slant it. Anything you want, you can do with the flap. But, because of what you saw, it a cuff. So now demonstrate. Normally, if I'm doing it on my own, I can just pick my scissors, cut it out, and fold to the other side to do it. But you might not really get it, so I'll just use my baby, my baby plate to cut it. Or if you have any anything at all that has cut, you can use to cut it out.
can use French cough. We can use um what else? You can use French cough, you can use your free hand cough as far as you know that you get it very well. Anything at all, that's cough. Sometimes I use my plates, sometimes I use um the bottom of the tread, the big tread. Use the bottom. I just so this is it. So now it's time to fold your bag. See, you might be had, you might be, maybe, wondering why I didn't put it here. When I make my bag, I like it with pattern. If I'm using crock, if I want to use crock, I make sure I bring out the pattern. It makes the bag finer. Depends on how much you want to sell it to. So this. If we check this material now, we check this leather. You can see this side and this side they are tinted. Then you have this here. So I'm placing it at the middle of this this one here. So all you have to do is just do a notch, then get center of the bag, add your gum, then place it. to use this than, than using gum brush this is flatten your gum so that you have some places swollen up if you don't have this you can use your you can use ATM anything flat that is strong ATM or sports ATM or um ID card. Anything flat, sure. So, I this middle here we go here. Okay. Yeah. And I'll cut out. you allow the, the the leather lay on it very well because if not because you're using a crock leather you will see that some places are still bulk up so instead of leaving it like that you use your um, hand to lay it down very well hmm? it's because you're using crock leather that's why it's not really showing when you use plain, you have to you will see all those bulky places. So now let's fold. You are allowed to dry 
and fold after folding this is what i get after your folding this is what you get so now the next we are going to do is adding a bottom cup we like if you like don't or just demonstrate that for you so that in any bag although in your picture the one i posted is not there but let me just demonstrate it for you so that next time you want to add you know how to do that here we have some beginners here we have few beginners that are just learning how to make that so let me quickly do that So for the for the bottom cup or bag fix, I call it bag fix. This depends on the bag then the size of your bag. So now I'm going to measure one. No, this is your bottom. Hmm? This is your bottom here. So I'm from there. I'll measure one here. Sorry, I'll measure half. Because this is a small bag. So let's do half. Then one here. So your first one will be here. Second one will be here. The third and the fourth. And you can just use, we don't have punch. Your screwdriver, the flat screwdriver. Then So, this is it. Here. here, now you put. Just use gum to hold it down. Not really much, but just use gum so that when you place your lining, the gum will hold it down with the lining. So it'll be like when you now say that any small thing will fall off. So just so that is that about the that is that about this. This is your outcome. So now, I want to cut my facing the side and um, the lining now. So this video is going to show you how to um, cut the facing the lining and then um, the side so first i'll cut let's cut them um, uh facing you know when you sometimes when you open your bag sometimes when you open bag like this from here to this side will be leather and sometimes they they can um, might be 
lining all through but now i'll be doing half lining then with facing you want to hide pockets no problem but i'm not going to do pockets in this class so now all you have to do is you draw out from here to this side that's from the flap all through to the top with allowance you have to add allowance for folding so I'm drawing it out now this is where my my drawing will stop I'll just cut it out. So now I'll just cut five, five. for folding so this is it you have this but you know you are still going to fold in you are still going to fold it in so here now from here now I will join my lining from here down to this side from here down to this side so that when you open your bag like this when you open it like this this is showing not lining so here now i'm going to draw out my lining that will be from here the lining will start from here to this side i told you i'll be using velvet as my lining it brings out the work No need to add allowance for this. Because they are going to they are going to be inside and then the side of your bag will cover everything. So no need to add allowance. Throw it out and cut it out. So this is what you will get. Now this is it. So this is your lining. This is the facing. We are going to join after folding this one. After folding it, you know there is a viral mark on it. That's the original size of it. So you just fold it. Yeah? You fold it. Fold it. You fold it. You can see the viral mark. You just fold it so that it will be the same size with the um, with your with your bag. So after folding, then you put on top of this, you put this, fold this and put it and sew. But let's fold first. Now this is our, as we all know, this is the body, the facing, join with your lining you know after drawing it out you cut out then join together so this is how it look like 
So when you had gum, when you had gum to this side, just place this one. Set you have to set it. Set it very well. Hmm? Then when you have if you have any SS you, you can cut it up. That is for the um for the body and the line although we are still going to add um the second part of your the second part of the the clamps so but let's set this aside first so this one now at the side you can see the bag is not really it's not really a a gusset a gusset type although it has gussets but it has additional straight gussets to it for easy sewing so now for the gusset of this bag now it's six by three you can decide to cuff this side if you want to cuff this side no wahala but if you know if you if you are cutting this side just know you have to deduct it from this place so that it will be the same size now i now the advice i will give to you is if you are using strong carry board for your bag and you're using small head machine please don't add fiber just use only your material only your leather don't add fiber it will be too thick for you to sew but if you have industrial machine you can do that this fiber now the only um the only um thing is adding to your bag is the side will be strong it will be stronger than um, using only your your leather so this one now we are going to wrap all of this with leather now this is the the handle the handle is 15 by two and a half it depends on how tall how long you want your handle to be may i but i used um 15 by two and half two and half so now after sewing i'm going to sew like this i'll fold this but if you know you are not perfect with sewing me i don't need to hard cut gum but if you know you are not going to sew straight or when you when you finish sewing because if you are not good on on this if you finish sewing you see that this leather will start twisting and it will have effect when you put your your hose so if you know you can't do it well please add gum here don't let it stay here so that the hose will pass in through will pass through easily add gum here fold it down add gum here fold it down then you can use your machine to fold the two then you pass your hose please if you know you can't do it perfectly because now if i want to sew my own i'm not adding any gum I'll just put it like this and so then I'll put my hose but if you know you are not really perfect doing that I would advise you put gum here then fold it down don't allow gum to touch it so that your hose will go in easily hold it down with gum here hold it down with gum here so you have something like this then you can now fold like this and so then you pass your hose so this is what you get after after adding the leather to everything i told you this is six by three this corset the two are six by three hmm? then this one is 15 by one and a half this you can even use one um one 15 by one and a half for these two Hmm? so now this is four see you can see that I, I gummed see this is I, I folded it look at it this is four the height is four the height is four why the width is three um it's two and a half then I folded it sorry the 
the the height is four the the width is two i folded it now i have one from here to here because the the, the d ring is one is one inch we are using a wider d ring that means you have to add to your leather so that when you fold you have the perfect perfect size that will fit the fit the d ring so now before adding lining i will have to add this so after adding this after sewing this together i can now put my lining so i added my my d ring to hit no so now i'm going to put my i'm adding my um, i will add my lining which is my favorite on it now so this is what i get you can see so the next thing now is i'm going to join this with this i'll join it all round all round with it then this one this is the hose here i've already sewn it you can see so i'll just put my hose inside and i'll use my scissors to push it in you can see it's not getting because the hose is just 12 i will measure 15. the remaining ones we go inside the bag where the lining we cover do you get so this is how it will be so this now after putting it in the hole after putting it inside this hole i'm going to make a hole now and put after putting it there i will slash it and lay it i'm going to demonstrate that though. so let's do that so after sewing this is what you will get that's it then this side i'm always adding black polish depends on the color i use i use black polish but if i'm using only leather i do tape it but this one that you can't tape it so i'll just i'll just use them um, I can use um, edge coats to blank it out or I use polish. So now I've added my um, eyelet. I've pushed out the hole and added the eyelet. Then the, the undo too. You can see. I, um, I already inserted the 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 os i told you the the leather is 15 although we are still cutting it short but the os you are putting inside is 12 for this size of the bag so this is the outcome so now i want to gum it down i want to gum it down you know this is this is the excess so now all you have to do is gum it down so I will not pull off when because you are not sewing so you have to gum it down so I won't pull off when you carry it So let's allow it to dry. You have to allow it to dry very well before gumming it. So now, you can see, just pull it, pull it like this. Same goes to this side. So you have to check if is bending you can see I'm, i i i have to, i i didn't play i did not place the whole bag on the table because if you do you see this one will be coming outside here so you have to leave when when you want to gum down you leave some space you leave space for it to to be aside not on the table so just 
guys soon come up. Your host will stay where it's supposed to be. So now, the next thing is to have the other clamp. Okay, let's add our face on first. So I had a gum to my facing too. Just the facing, not the lining. Just the facing. So I will allow to dry. So now I want to add the facing. Yeah, now you have to make sure they are equal. You can see everything I'm doing. I don't. I make sure this thing is not touching the table that it won't pull off but after you have added the facing you can do whatever you want to do the gum and the facing will hold it down so this is it So now I'll just can use the mallet. Now I'm going to add the other side of the other side I'm going to add other side of my clamp so what you have to do is that's all so I'll mark it out. You can see after adding the the second part, I'll just form my bag, then press the teeth. When you remove it now, you will see the mark. Of the teeth of that um clamps on it so you quickly mark it while buried then you punch you see this is it here then the other one is here that is the way i do my own you might have another technique of doing it but that is the way i do my So, I'm 
sewing together now. I'm sewing everything together. I have other machine to use for this, but because some people are afraid that your small machine won't sew it. That's why I'm using this. Your machine is in good state. You, you have a um, you need is 23 or 22, and your machine is working fine, my dear sister. It is sweet as far as the machine is in good state. It is sweet. I'm supposed to use my big machine, but the people will know. So, this is it. I'm done with my sewing. When sewing, you have to be very careful. You can see? You can see. So now, it's just the side that I want to sew now. Oh yeah, mama. Let's start sewing. gently so that you won't have any thread. So I'm sewing it gently so that you have any any thread cutting. You mean it takes you to start rolling it with your with your hand. Please do. Get the perfect. So now the, the only thing now is to put the second side. So you do the same thing you did here to your second side. 
make sure you 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 sew this side before fixing this the before fixing the the gusset so that is that about our kelly bag for people that registered for the hammer bag we meet on sunday thank you